It's the middle of summer here in Colorado, and I figure it's time for another backcountry photo adventure. This time I'm headed out for some off-trail bushwhacking in the Colorado wilderness. Okay, so right now I'm backpacking uh, to, a, to a spot that has one of my very favorite photos in all of Colorado. And right now I'm on trail, which is the easy part, but soon I'll be off trail in some of the nastiest, gnarliest, most dense <laughs> forests with tons of deadfall. And uh, it's gonna be tough to get through. So tough, in fact, that I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna make it, but I think I will. I've been there before a couple times but never, uh, well, I should say, not in the last five or six years, so don't know what it looks like. Here we go, let's see what happens. Okay, so this marks the end of the easy part of the trail. This little piece of, this little drainage here, this little chunk of river, I'm gonna start heading up that way. It's gonna get spicy. I went from this nice trail to that. See a trail in there? Yeah, me neither. Okay, so 20 seconds in. Just to show you how intimidating it can be, there's almost no sign of the trail. It's almost gone immediately. So uh, coming back out, we're gonna have to be really good with our navigation. Otherwise, uh, we might spend a night or two out here, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna make it, it's gonna be great. This was the easy part. It only got worse from here. I swear it. All right, so I think I've gotten through the worst of the, uh, the deadfall zone, just kind of right behind me there. And I've made it to the beginning of the, uh, of the Abbey Path, which is good. It doesn't mean to, don't mean to say that it's gonna get easy by any means. I still got a lot of steep climbing to do steep off trail climbing to do, but uh, this is much nicer than being in that mess down there. So um, up and away we go. All right, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Just another maybe 30, 40 minutes till camp. Um, basically I just have to get, I'm gonna kind of uh, walk up this snow line here, up, that, up those rocks, and then uh, kind of get to the top of that little piece of snow and sc scooch down it and then my final destination is just right over there, right on the other side of that ridge. And uh, you know, honestly, in, in my humble opinion, it's one of the most beautiful camp spots in all of Colorado. It's hard to get to. Um, and so not too many people go up here. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll let you be the judge of that. Go that way. Okay, well, right as I got up here, the storms came in, and uh, so I threw up my tent real quick, got that put together just in case I have to dive in and get myself and my gear out of the uh, 
out of the storm. So hopefully it doesn't hit. It actually looks pretty decent behind me. That's generally where storms come from. Uh, but there is another cell over there and this one is, as you can see, it's real close. After a quick meal, it was time to get out and find a few photos. Every picture in this video was made with Sigma's brand new 2470 f2.8 DGDN Mark II lens. I cruised the perimeter of the lake looking for different combinations, trying to mix up some tundra, some rocks, and of course, plenty of gray light. Well, this is some pretty quintessential uh, backcountry photography. We do have some nice light going on. Should probably get another shot, actually. But uh, yeah, I don't know that everyone would want to walk as far as I did to get here. But um, I have this place all to myself. Me and the mountain goats and the light and the lake. And I don't know. It's, uh, it's pretty much perfect. Gonna keep shooting. somewhere around 5 a.m. and uh, we're in the midst of blue hour and it's really beautiful out. The ptarmigan are screeching all across the tundra here. It's just just stunning. Um, we do have a little bit of wind uh, kind of fracturing, beating up our uh, reflection here which is a little bit of an issue and not a cloud in the sky. So we do have a couple little photographic things to work around here but uh, still what a morning. But, um, but yeah, what a, what a great little trip up here. Um, you know, super remote, a little bit of a bushwhack to get here, but is anyone else here? No. Is anyone else gonna come up this summer? Probably, but not a whole lot of people. And that's kind of what makes a spot like this so special. So um, for me, it was worth the effort. I don't know if it's worth the effort for, for you guys, but, um, but I love it. I just, I just love this stuff, so. All right, I'm going to carry on and uh, see what happens next. Well, what happened next was totally unexpected. There's behind me. Can you see them? There's a whole bunch of goats just walked into my camp. And even a little baby. I guess it's time to get a photo. Well, it's been a fun one with some great landscape, astro, and even some unexpected wildlife shots to show for my efforts. All that's left is to pack up, with an eye on my woolly guests, and head back down the mountain. Hope you enjoyed this little adventure, and if you have any questions about photography or backpacking, please let me know. Thanks again, and hope to see you out there. 
Oh, yeah. Right where I started. 